Yo. Nice day here in Seattle. It's absolutely gorgeous. But we're not here to talk about the weather. We are here to, about, to talk about the new computer. Yep, this is gonna be a build video and uh, just going over my computer uh, that I just finished building. I've built a few computers in my lifetime. Uh, this is the first one that is a custom water-cooled hardline loop. So it took a lot of planning, a lot of effort. It took me a while to get this done, though frankly it was because I was just waiting for parts. But fired it up and it's working really well. Got Windows 10 Pro on there. Already got it tracking CPU temperatures. Start with the unsexy stuff, new keyboard. It's actually RGB, uh, but it's not enabled right now. Mechanical keyboard, I've never had one of those. Viper V770. Matched it up with a Viper RGB mouse. All right, well, let's go over the case and all the different components. It's a Thermaltake 900 The Tower case, and it's gigantic. It's crazy huge. I, wa I, I wanted a big case. A lot of the cases I've done in the past have been half this size, but this one I really wanted a large case that could basically handle all the water cooling components that I can kind of trick out a little bit and display. So it definitely accomplishes that goal. In fact, it was so big, I was really worried about how I was gonna fill it. Um, this, is, this case could be a two motherboard, two CPU, ma a number of GPU type case. And uh, when I looked at it, I was like, okay, what am I all gonna put in here? I already knew I was going to do dual res uh, reservoirs uh, on separate loops. But even doing that, I was like, you know, there's still gonna be a lot of dead space. So one thing I did, and I'll talk about it later in the video, is I added a, I added my Wu Audio WA2 uh, headphone amplifier. And it's a tube amp, uses vacuum tubes, so pretty old school, and uh, really meant to listen to analog music. So I also have a Meridian Direct uh, DAC digital to analog converter. So first let's talk about the, the CPU. And so the, e, the CPU's Intel chipset, I did think about going AMD. Uh, the Threadripper is, is really popular right now. Uh, gamers like AMD and they're affordable, but I've always built PCs with Intel uh, chipsets. And so I just decided to stick with what I know. So it is an Intel i9 90, ooh, 9800, 9900K. It's, it's a nice CPU. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the higher end ones. I wanted this computer to last me a long time, uh, at least five years and perhaps even up to 10. And so I tried to go with a little bit beefer uh, CPU, eight cores. For the water block on the CPU, I used a, a EKWB Momentum water block for the Z390 Meg MSI motherboard. It matches up well. And in addition to, it's actually a monoblock motherboard uh, water block. And it not only does it cool the CPU, but also the MOSFETs around the CPU. So it's just, you're getting a little bit more cooling. And right now it is working flawlessly. There's no bubbles. It, it's, it's just beautiful. Right now the RGB is blue. Maybe not the best for the video uh, with the blue liquid, but it, it looks really nice. For the graphic card, I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce R RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition graphic card. So a very nice graphic card. It'll last me a while. I'll be able to SLI it later if uh, it's starting to get outdated. 
and I took off the stock heat sink on it with the two fans and I replaced it with a Corsair water block that is specifically for the Founders Edition 2080. The colors, it has RGB, really nice colors, no bubbles. So on my separate loop, it's being cooled by EKWB uh, Cryofill Blue. And yeah, just working really well. So for RAM, uh, I have 32 gigs and I'm using the, what is it? The G scale Trident Royal Z. So one thing that's pretty cool about these Ram sticks is it's like crystal. So a lot of the Ram sticks that are RGB enabled, it's a, it looks like kind of a, a plasticky uh, LED cover. Whereas these it's, it's, it's more crystal like. So I just wanted something to be different. It would have been easier. Sure. In terms of controlling everything, uh, if I use the uh, Corsair RGB stick, RGB RAM sticks, but I just really liked how these, uh, these Royal Z's looked. So for the reservoirs and there's, a, I went with Corsair and there's a lot of Corsair uh, products here. So, you know, you have the Corsair water block, uh, on the GPU, uh, my fittings are Corsair, which are really, uh, frankly, uh, Bits Power co-brands. Corsair reservoirs, Corsair tubing. So back to the reservoir, it is the XD5, I believe, and it's a uh, combo reservoir and pump. It has a D5 pump. D5 pumps are usually recognized as, as, as the better pumps you wanna use for PC water cooling. The reservoir, I liked it because of the shape and size. A lot of times, especially for a tower like this, a case like this, the reservoirs are just gigantic and they're also circular cylinders. I like this one because it's a little bit more compact and it's a little bit more boxy. So just kind of makes it look different than kind of what you always see. It's RGB enabled, so I got lights going on in there. A really nice reservoir. Again, the coolant EKWB Cryo Fuel. I kind of struggled with whether I wanted to go with a uh, uh, a coolant with some color to it or clear, but I decided to spice it up a little bit and, and, and use the Cryo Fuel Navy Blue. These are hard tubes, PMMA, which is, I guess, acrylic. I ordered way too much, but I wanted a lot because I knew I would mess up. <laughs> and like I said, the fittings, chrome fittings, and the Corsair fittings are really Bits Power fittings without the branding. And I like that because Bits Power fittings have logos everywhere. It, may, it can make your case look really busy. But the Corsair ones are no logos, just chrome, looks nice and clean. I did test out the system uh, in two ways before I filled it. I used a EKWB uh, air gauge to test air pressure. But basically what you do is you sort of pump it up, you pump air through your loops and then you watch the gauge for 15 minutes and you don't want it to fall below acceptable levels. And so I did two separate loops, two different tests. And that, I, I think that the, using that pressure gauge is, was a godsend because uh, if I wouldn't have, then I would have just tested it by putting coolant in there. And, and I definitely would have had leaks. When I did the first pressure gauge test, it wasn't holding the gauge, the air pressure. And so I rechecked my fittings, found the problems and I was able to fix it. So, so far so good, knock on wood, no leaks. For the motherboard, I'm using the MSI Z390 Meg Ace. 
I like MSI motherboards, mostly because their BIOS is pretty easy to use and intuitive. It was a little tough to install Windows 10 Pro from a USB on here, but I did go into the BIOS, fix some things, disabled some drives I wasn't using, things like that, and, and finally I was able to get it installed, but it wasn't easy. So for fans, there are 10 of them. I have seven 120 millimeter fans and then three 140 millimeter. The radiator fans are Corsair LL120 RGBs. Absolutely beautiful. The IQ software was easy to, easy to use. I read online that, it's, uh, that some people didn't like the IQ software, but I thought it was pretty easy to use, frankly. I have a Commander Pro, Corsair Commando Pro uh, in the back as the main control unit. This is a Thermaltake ring, 140 millimeter. So this is operating as an exhaust and I have two more Thermaltake 140 millimeter ring fans at the two more at the top and then the one on the back and they all operate as exhaust. The side, the side Corsair fans are blowing in and they're blowing on a radiator. And the radiator is a Hardware Labs 300, 360 Nemesis Black Ice GTS. And I got two of them, one for each loop. Really nice colors. I did have to make this shelf. It is acrylic, it was pretty easy to make. This is really just kind of like an internal bookshelf where it allows me to place my reservoirs which are gonna be above the amp. And it also operates as a heat shield to some extent. This will heat up, look at these heat sinks. They're just huge. And then you got the vacuum tube. So this emits heat. Now, 10 feet away, I'm not feeling it, but it'll warm up a little bit. So to deal with heat, I have a Corsair 120 millimeter ML RGB fan. And then this, this bookshelf operates somewhat as a heat shield in that hopefully it keeps the heat kind of low and then out through that fan, kind of separating it from the computer components. It's also a safety from a, it's safety uh, and protects against a leak. So if I have a leak in my loops, hopefully it will just fall onto this, drift off to the side, then it goes down into the case. There's holes in the case, so it should just frankly just uh, not even touch the amp. The amp is, uh, has some feet, so it's not flush on the bottom. For storage, I'm using M.2 drives. I got two of them, ADATA, XPGs. Each of them is one terabyte. I have Windows 10 Pro on one of them, and then the other one's gonna be data. I am gonna use, I'm eventually gonna put in my SATA drives from my previous computer. I got about three terabytes, but I haven't done that yet. I also was able to borrow, or not borrow, take <laughs> my Seasonic X-Series power supply. I think it's 1,025 watts, yeah. Right now I haven't hardlined this into my internet, so I'm just using the wireless antenna, which works pretty well. I. I don't, obviously I don't have the front panel on so I can just show you everything, uh, but there is, the tempered glass is really nice. I do have to, I have one minor thing, I need to fabricate a little uh, a bracket here. And I'm actually gonna cover the bracket with uh, carbon fiber tape, which is what I did to the back of the bracket here. Not super clean, have some air bubbles, but yeah, carbon fiber uh, on that back bracket so you actually don't see all the wirings, wire and madness in the back of the case. It even has the cutout for the fan. So 
So I hope you like the video. I hope you like the computer. I'm excited about it. It's gonna last me a while. I plan to play a lot of games on it. Uh, really looking forward to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you like the content, subscribe. But yeah, I got a little bit more sun here in Seattle, so I'm gonna go out on the Harley and enjoy that weather. Have a good one.